And there is the full-time whistle. Wales have responded to the 43-0 hammering at the hands of Ireland in style at the RDS. Finished off by Hannah Jones at the end, turning their physical prowess and superiority into points on the board. And they get their TikTok Six Nations Championship off to the best possible start, right? Yeah, Ireland, Sean and Parts did really well, but Wales came back every time at them. And crucially, in this second half, it was with Wales that controlled it, using their experience and, and set piece dominance to take the win. Well, this is how it's finished. Ireland led for so much of it. In the end, they've been beaten. It's finished Ireland 19, Wales 27. Yes, thank you, Dave. Huge disappointment for Ireland. So much enthusiasm and expectation ahead of this game. There was a sense, certainly, that Ireland would very much target the home games. But on day one, it is a massively disappointing loss at home to the Welsh. And no bonus point either, no losing bonus point either for Ireland. Disappointed faces all round. Fiona Hayes, pre-game, you warned us of the Welsh power. That really came into effect in that second half in particular. Yeah, in the second half, we saw Wales really tighten up the, the mall and they got go-forward ball with their big ball carriers. And I think we saw, especially in the scrum, Ireland probably lacked a little bit of power. And when you're going back in set piece, I think that's when you really, really suffer against a, a strong, powerful Welsh pack. Yeah, you could see the Welsh realise it as that half went on, Alan. Yeah, they grew in confidence and uh, they showed a lot of self-belief. And to be fair, um, it was very difficult for Ireland um, you know, they fell off some tackles, their set piece caused them problems and they just couldn't get the ball back off Wales. So you've got to give a lot of credit to Wales. Their continuity was outstanding and just the pressure, pressure, pressure. A few talking points, I thought the Emer Considine yellow card was very debatable. I think Ireland had a penalty there and that was a big turning point. And uh, they just looked deflated after that, Ireland. They were under so much pressure and uh, they crumbled as regards, you know, that, that power. Sene, it seemed in the second half in particular, Ireland had so little possession and so little territory. When they did score that try, the Stacey Flood try, that was almost off scraps, it was off nothing, but the Welsh really dominated that second half. Yeah, I, uh, full credit to Welsh on the win and the bonus point win as well, and I'm feeling for the, the Irish girls there. Certainly from the breakdown, I think they were dominant on the breakdown. They won a few key turnovers at key moments, and uh, on the receipts of some of the kicks that Ireland gave, that's when they drove the position into the green zone where they could attack and score. Um, so you can you could see where they scored their tries and you know and, and full credit to them because their defensive system has actually worked because they got the ball back and they ended up converting to points. What are the disappointments for you in the Irish performance? Oh, look, the, the positives are we could see moments where they win the game line and we see moments where they're really cohesive. It's just more putting it together and, and for me, uh, you would have seen the, the amount of set piece opportunities yeah. they had and the amount of set piece opportunities that they didn't take. Uh, they, they didn't execute probably more than 25% of them. Um, and certainly in, in games like this, especially against a powerful, strong team, Wales, who have 12 pro players, pretty much all their team are in their high performance environment. So they've got the detail of different moments. You need to be on top of your game and win your set piece. Yeah, the honour for you. Yeah, I, I can't not talk about that set piece. I mean, we saw glimpses of it, a few overthrown line outs in the first half. Um, it crept into the second half then in the scrum. And I think when you're uh, when you're not winning those, I think that filters down. Very impressed with, the, their, with their defence in general, but you can't get go forward ball if you don't have a very solid set piece. And I think we saw that and and that's where things went wrong. Yeah, because the frustration must be from an Irish point of view. Anytime they did get into the Welsh 22, they looked very dangerous and they obviously had a real at attacking threat. It's just those moments were few and far between. Yeah, they were ambitious and probably in the second half, the, the key part of that, Joe, was uh, probably game management and being able to hold on to the ball for long periods. I think if you speak to any to look, at the, look back at the game, Ireland never really barred a try they scored in the second half, which was probably against the runner play a little bit. Yeah. It was a great try, crucial score, and you thought that's the one that will give them the lift, but they just couldn't hold on to the ball for long periods and really test that Welsh defence. And they changed, their impact off the bench was very, very powerful as well. And I think um, that was probably the key to it. And then the mall tries, you know, hard to defend them. They are, and I was going to ask Fiona, what do you do? Because on 53 minutes, we go into the TMO, and there was a big let-off, and we saw the Welsh Mall there, in effect, 
and then the two Donna Rose tries. All that power up front again. What can you do on the pitch if you're up against that power and you're losing in those instances? Look, we, we talked about not going up in the line-out. Uh, Queenie said it as well, and they came out in that first uh, drive. They didn't go up, but we still lost that power battle. So I think it's in the setup. Ireland needed to be a little bit lower. They needed to get down. They knew this Welsh team were going to come at them and come at them hard in the mall. So if they can tighten up that setup, you can you can really stop it. And they did it in a couple of them, but unfortunately they couldn't. And when you're out there, it's very, very hard to see it then. And I think that's where probably Ireland didn't have that experience that someone came together and said, look, guys, we're a little bit high. We've got to do this. I mean, they're absolutely awesome in attack and really good at defence at times. But just those tiny clinical areas around set pieces, we, all that we needs to be tied We were speaking about it during the game there in the second half. Tempo, the word tempo, Wales controlled the match. They controlled the pace, the tempo. And Ireland just needed to take the steam out of it a little bit slow the game down a little bit, play the touch lines a bit more with some grubber kicks and a be probably better kick and we saw some really good kicks in the first half but no ability to do that and they didn't turn the Welsh team either, you know, they tried to play out of their own half and just got turned over at times there and, and look, it was a very good Welsh side and they were superb in that second half. The positives for Ireland were the fight, the ambition, the yeah. energy they showed, just some crucial decisions um, a little bit of energy and aggression at times. They fell off some tackles in the end, but it was a brilliant effort from them. And when they look back at it, there'll be certain areas that they need to be better, protecting the ball, holding onto the ball, yeah. and maybe that kicking game as well. I suppose, Sene, when 16 of the Irish 23 have 10 caps or fewer, there are going to be learning experiences on days like today, and today is going to be a painful experience, but a learning one nonetheless, you would hope. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like This experience is invaluable for all of the players, whether you've had sort of zero caps, a couple of new uh, caps in the squad as well, which is brilliant. Yeah. Um, but certainly this will be uh, important for them to take into not just the next game, but we're almost like six months ahead of the teams that post-World Cup will start their rebuild. So this, from a bigger picture perspective, this is uh, this is going to benefit every, each, each of them. And exactly like uh, Alan said, there were some super moments there. Like Ireland's defence, we looked comfortable most of the time, pretty much all most of the time. Yeah. And certainly those double shots were made available right there because our fluidity, those basics were, were there. So there's certainly some positives to take from on both sides of the ball and some wonderful tries as well.